What's your uh, favorite misconception you hear about insects? The one that really annoys me is when uh, people hear you're an entomologist and then suddenly they think you're able to identify any species anywhere around the world and they they feel that you're not doing well enough if, you, if they hand you something and you can't immediately say what it is, so that's, that's pretty annoying. What do you think is the most common misconception people have about insects or entomology or, or one that you particularly find annoying? Uh, oh, people think entomologists are all very small and have thick glasses. This is only true for some of us, not for all of us. And usually, they, well, I guess entomologists are also old and I see a lot of young people around. <laughs> Or any yeah. question people always ask you because they know you're an entomologist and... The people do surprise me. Do you eat these insects? But insects, they are a good source of protein. Mm -hmm. But most people, they find this say that it's not good to eat insects. But I know insects are just a good source of protein. Like, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think it's the sort of like, the what are they good for kind of question. Mm -hmm. And people don't think too much about you know, if you didn't have insects in the world, it would be pretty miserable. Yeah, okay. uh, nothing would decompose. What do you think is the most common misconception people have about entomology or insects or that they're all bad. You know, that every everything's out there that crawls on the ground is, is evil and dirty and nasty. So there's a lot of good ones out there. Everyone always thinks that um, I'm only interested in killing bugs. That's the first thing. When they say you're an entomologist, oh, so you kill cockroaches? That's usually not uh, what all any of us do. We're really interested in, in understanding them, but uh, not just smushing them or applying pesticides. One of the biggest misconceptions about insects is how often they sting you. Uh, lots of Hymenoptera species, which can sting, don't want to sting you. And you can walk through a field of goldenrod covered in stinging insects and they won't sting you. I've done it thousands of times. So if you freak out, maybe they'll freak out, but you don't need to because they're not going to sting you. So, and if they do, it's a big mistake. So just feel that insects aren't out there to get you. Uh, one of the most common in, um, misconceptions I've heard, and I live in Georgia, so it might be coming to the southeast, are about chiggers and, uh, and what happens when you get bitten by chiggers. Are there actually small bugs under your skin that are causing this itching? And that's actually a myth. Um, technically, it's, a, it's an enzyme that they, that they secrete in order to um, uh, extract some of the some of the materials from your skin and so uh, the the reaction is actually not a bug itself it's it's your reaction to this enzyme so what people do a lot of times to try to cure this reaction is to paint themselves with nail polish and this is really a uh, quite prevalent um, practice especially where, where I live in the southeast and it's completely um, it, it is it is a myth and buried in urban legend uh, another very common misconception is about praying mantises being cannibalistic and eating their mates and why while it has been observed in um, artificial settings such as laboratories where they're rearing praying mantises, it's rarely been observed in a natural environment. So once again, it's um, something that is definitely rooted in urban legend. And one of the last um, really common misconceptions is about daddy long legs. And a lot of people think that they're spiders or insects, and they're actually neither. Daddy long legs are actually their own group because they only have one body part. And the, the myth is that they're, they're one of the most venomous in, or spiders mm. around, um, but their mouth parts are too small. And the fact is that uh, this particular uh, group of arachnids don't have venom glands at all. So once again, this uh, this myth is is rooted in urban legend. Thank you.